everyone welcome back to our channel in our video today we have four budget friendly diys that all have strawberries in them if you're new to southern gmore gals we want to welcome you to our channel we'd love to have you subscribe and turn your notifications on so you don't miss any of our upcoming diys and let's get started with our strawberry diys <music> Just this anchor sign from the Dollar Tree and all I'm doing is using some putty or some wood filler to fill in the hole there and then I'm going to paint it with this off-white chalk paint. And I found this jar sticker at the Dollar Tree and the, the little designs there is actually the sticker so I'm just peeling that off and I cut around the jar so I cut out the shape and I'm using the Maj Podge to adhere this to my sign. these stencils that say farm fresh I'm gonna use a barn red or barn door red that I purchased from Walmart that's the color that I'm using on my stencils I started with the stencil brush but it's a little bit fat or a little bit big so you'll see that later I'm gonna switch over to a smaller brush I think it worked better with these smaller letters And if you make a little smear or some of your paint bleeds or they're a little bit wide, you'll see in a minute the H is a little bit fatter than I wanted it to be. I just took some of the off-white chalk paint and just kind of touched up around there. I made a little spot there above the S that I just covered up with some paint. So, you know, if you, if you make a little mistake with your stencils, you can always use the off-white paint to go back and fix anywhere that's a little bit fat. And right here you see the H, I got a little bit fat, so I just trimmed down the edge there with some off-white chalk paint just to um, make those lines look a little bit more sharp. Now for my strawberries, I purchased this little, I guess it's like a little bead container from the Dollar Tree. This was in the craft section, and I'm just popping these tops off. I thought these were kind of in the shape of a strawberry, so I'm going to use some of the red felt from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just wrapping it around these plastic pieces and gluing it with a glue gun.
And then I took some green felt from the Dollar Tree to make the little tops or the little leaves on the strawberries. And I'm just using my hot glue gun to apply these to my sign. And I just arranged them any way you'd like those in the jar just to look like it's filled with some fresh strawberries. Just my two pieces of fabric from Walmart. The polka dot was already in a little um, pack there, and I think it was a dollar or a dollar fifty. And then the plaid they cut for me, and it was a dollar eleven. I just traced a pattern on some paper, and my pattern looks like this. And I think a pattern close to maybe like a baby bottle nipple is a, is kind of what I thought worked best. This is a strawberry I made like in a triangle shape and it was two pointed and this one was a round one and it didn't turn out either. So this type of shape worked best for me. I just folded my fabric in half and then traced my pattern and then we're gonna cut this out. I hand stitched my strawberries. I was fighting the sewing machine doing something this small. So I just stitched around them. I left the top open and then I'm gonna turn them inside out. I purchased two packs of pom-poms. I purchased the ones there with the pink that have the little spikes on them. And those are much firmer or much uh, more solid pom-poms. So they work really good to fill in my strawberries and keep them real firm. And then I also purchased a pack of just plain pom-poms and they're a lot softer. So you may have to use several more of those to fill your pom-poms in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one pom-pom down into the point. And then I'm gonna use four more to kind of go around in a circle inside the strawberry just to make it look really plump and full. And you can make these, you know, as full as you want. You can, this is, you can see here, there's just three there. And that looks like a good shape, but it doesn't fill out the other side. So I wanted these to be really filled out and look really thick. So I'm using five of these big pom-poms in each strawberry. strawberries field I just took some, some made some stitches across the top and pulled it tight there to make the top and for the greenery I just bought some green fabric from Walmart and I'm gonna use my hot glue gun to glue that onto the strawberry I tried to cut or tried to make some different patterns for the top so they're all not the same so I just kind of traced some or made some leaves on some fabric and cut that out and then just glued it with my glue gun and I tried to pinch the top once I got the green part on there to kind of look make the center look like it was raised a little bit or pinched it together.
this candle holder at the Dollar Tree and I'm just spray painting that an heirloom white spray paint and then I'm just using a mason jar to put my strawberries in. sign in one of my valentine diys and it's just a canvas from the dollar tree and i just went around it and stained the frame part and then i'm painting the center there or the fabric part in off-white chalk paint just to cover up the heart i'm using these little stickers from the dollar tree and these are the smaller size this is what i'm going to use to make my strawberry and i'm using these little small bead stickers from the dollar tree they have a little bit of like a, a glue or a little plastic strip and that's what's making them stick. So when you take them off the paper, you want to be sure you leave that attached to the bead and you can see it there, the little plastic piece that runs in between them. That's the sticky part. So don't pull that off of there. They're not going to stick to your fabric. And I just started with one and then the next row I put two and then I went to three. And you'll see here, I went all the way up to eight. I put eight rows and then I went back to like, um, I think I put six and then five and three. So then I just started um, counting down. I made two more rows on the top with the beads in the to make my strawberry. And I'm just using some red paint. This is a flag red that I purchased from Walmart to paint my strawberry. And I'm just using a real small pointed brush. And I wanted to go around the outside of the beads to kind of trace around the outside. And then I'm gonna use a little bit fatter brush or a bigger brush to paint the beads and to paint inside of the strawberry. take a green paint I also got the green paint from Walmart and I'm just gonna make some leaves on the top and then a, a little small stem sweet I purchased a pack of these curvy stencils from the Dollar Tree and I cut out the letter S I cut it maybe a little bit small I tried to use a stencil brush and that's too big to use uh, with these small letters but I started with the stencil brush and then I'm gonna move down to a smaller brush and I'm just using this red barn paint for my letters also had a pack of stencils that actually say sweet I didn't like the letter s on there so that's why I used the s from a different um, stencils that I had from the Dollar Tree but I'm gonna put my the word on here from this pack but I'm just gonna do one letter at a time because I want it to look a little bit rounded and not straight again I'm still using the stencil brush here but the smaller brush works much better and I'm gonna switch over to that with doing these little small letters
a little bit fat. The T in the last E here a little bit fat. So I'm going to take some of that off white chalk paint and touch those up to make those a little bit thinner. And I made a little dot there right above the strawberry with red paint. So I'm going to touch that up. just something for fun I, I've seen these on Pinterest and online I just thought this would be kind of cool to go with the strawberry theme but I'm using one of these wreaths from the Dollar Tree that came in a two pack and I'm using the smaller wreath and then I purchased the strawberries from the Dollar Tree and you'll need one whole pack of strawberries and then I used about a half of a pack of another one and I'm just taking my glue gun and gluing these around I kind of followed a pattern of three I put two on the outside and then one on the inside about halfway around I just wanted you to be able to see and then um, I'm just going to keep continuing on around and here's everything together leave us a comment let us know which DIY that you like the best these are all budget friendly so you don't have to go out and spend a lot to decorate your home for spring and summer we want to thank everybody for watching we're new to instagram so connect with us on instagram our link is down in the description box check out some of our other diy videos thanks for watching give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time